Good, happy Thursday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. One killed, two injured in wrong way crash along I-89 in Lebanon. A wrong way crash Wednesday night along I-89 in Lebanon left one person dead and two others injured, state police said. Truck without wheels sends sparks flying across highway. A Haverhill man faces charges after several witnesses say he was driving with one wheel missing from his truck, sending sparks flying. Stills to retire from State Senate. Ennis to seek seat. The shakeup in the New Hampshire State Senate will continue on Thursday with another retirement announcement and a familiar name emerging as a candidate for the open seat. Londonderry homeowner accused of killing man dies. State police wrapped up their on-scene investigation Wednesday at the site of an apparent murder suicide in Londonderry. Family of Conway homicide victim seeks answers. The family of a man who died two days after he was attacked at a Conway motel said he was so viciously attacked that he was unrecognizable. Hike safe cards urge for outdoor enthusiast. Heading out hiking this Memorial Day weekend? New Hampshire Fish and Game Department officials say it's time to get your hike safe card. Merrimack firefighters battle brush fire Wednesday. Crews will be keeping an eye on a brush fire that broke out in Merrimack Wednesday. Eight puppies found abandoned at animal shelter in Laconia. Laconia police are investigating after someone left eight puppies in crates outside the New Hampshire Humane Society covered in waste. More Bedford homes to get bottled water after PFOA found. More homes in Bedford will get bottled water after tests showed several private wells have elevated levels in the contamination of PFOA. Portion of Interstate 89 reopened following accident. Interstate 89 is closed following a motor vehicle accident, according to state police. Nashua Fire Department recognized firefighters honor horrific residents. Nashua firefighters gathered Wednesday night to say farewell to retirees and welcome new members into the fire service. Murder victims, family shocked to learn killer works nearby. The family of a woman killed in New Hampshire 25 years ago said they are stunned to learn just how close they have been to hear convicted killer. Man suspected in hit and run that left tripper hurt turns himself in. A man accused of hitting a New Hampshire state trooper on the side of the Everett Turnpike early Sunday morning turned himself in Wednesday. 
does the Libertarian Party finally have a chance? Paul Joyce is a serious Republican. He sought the Republican nomination for a House sent from Virginia twice, but didn't win his primaries. He works in real estate and considers himself a small business person whose main interest is really keeping tax low, cutting back on government. Joyce and his wife, Laura, are the type who used to travel to New Hampshire for fun to check out candidate town hall and figure out who they might support. Fed's burrowed tight U.S. labor market may put upward pressure on inflation. U.S. labor market are revitally tight and may put upward pressure on inflation, St. Louis Federal Reserve's President James Ballard said on Thursday. One dead, three injured after shooting at New York City venue where T.I. scheduled to perform. Four people were shot, one fatally, at New York City Webster Hall Wednesday night prior to rapper T.I. taking the stage, NYPD have confirmed. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday. See you back here later on. Goodbye.